Good afternoon, YouTube. Long day at work, uh, ready to go home. A couple of uh, parts came in that I've ordered for my car, so I'll show you guys what they are, give you guys a little update. Uh, with it, I will also show you guys a couple of free parts that uh, I received from Ford when I, when I bought the car. I thought they were pretty cool, so I'll show you guys what they are. Stay tuned, we'll get started. Some of the freebies that I received from Ford when I bought my car and they arrived after a couple weeks I believe and I thought they were pretty cool. One of them actually came a couple months later. Let's go right into it. So here's the, the very first item that came in with the package and uh, as you can see it's a, it's a neat little uh, model of uh, the flat plane crank that they're so proud of uh, you can see that little chassis number here and I'm, I'm gonna be moving pretty soon to a house with a, with a decent sized garage so I'm probably gonna put this up somewhere uh, in front of my uh, dedicated uh, GT350 parking lot um, this definitely will be part of that uh, and it's actually substantially heavy uh, it, it actually is a piece of of a metal that they I don't know if it's aluminum or metal, but they actually milled this out. I, I'm surprised they went that far. It's not like a piece of plastic that's painted in, in metal color. It's it's actually a, a metal piece. Um, so that's cool. And they also sent me a couple other things. One was the uh, poster for. I believe it had a, you know what, I don't remember what was on it. I believe it was GT350 uh, picture uh, poster. Not a, not a huge one. It was a nice little poster. I, I just don't know where I left it, but that also came. And another really big one is they give you a free track day learning day at the, the Ford Driving Center in Utah. Uh, and uh, it's for one day. You can purchase more days. I believe the, the event goes all weekend. Uh, but for one day, you can you can go there, and they let you drive in in their GT 350s uh, at the school, show you the, the limits of it, and teach you how to how to drive the car, and hopefully get you more comfortable with with your car. Um, sadly, uh, me being a father of 18 month old I just couldn't take time off to go uh, and it's only valid for first year I believe or something like that for six months uh, correct me if I'm wrong but uh, but yeah I, that, that was a bummer I really wanted to go to that one uh, so yeah that's another freebie that you get from Ford um, obviously you do have to pay for your own hotel and then and, and, and airplane ticket but I believe when you're there they give you they provide you with food and driving instructor and all of that and definitely something worth considering and something else that came in and this one came in about um, two three months into it and it's a I don't know if you guys can guess what it is but it's a 
oil filter torque wrench. Oil filter wrench, yeah. And what I heard uh, from what I read up on it, the reason why they they decide to make this and send out to the all the owners were were two things. The owners uh, either weren't reading into owner's manual that they weren't torquing down the oil filters to uh, recommended foot pounds which is 16 to 18 foot pounds uh, and they were just hand tightening it which never is enough especially for for this car uh, and what's been happening not only the owners but the mechanics some even at the four dealerships uh, they they either, they either didn't read into it or they just didn't do it, not sure. And uh, again, the car makes a lot of vibration from that engine uh, having a flat plane crank and the engine being so large. Uh, and it was pretty much shaking the filters loose. Once the filter gets loose and it either completely undoes itself and all the oil comes out and, you know, that's it. You better hopefully stop your car in time before your engine seizes um, so yeah they they actually uh, sent this to all the owners it says exactly how much to tighten into it is written right on here um, and if you can see that tighten to 16 to 18 foot pounds 22 to 24 newton meters um, uh, and it says use only motorcraft replacement filters uh, which for the filter CSI to use that, just not their oil. Um, and yeah, uh, also on all the, uh, the the filters that from the Motocraft, it's actually written even on the filter itself uh, how much to tighten it to. So uh, it's kind of no brainer, but uh, you know, it just most people aren't used to it. Uh, so yeah, if you have GT350, make sure you torque your oil filter. And uh, even if I would double check it when I bring my car home, I do it all by myself. But if you take it to a dealership, uh, you know, you just never know. Make sure when you come home, it's a quick check. You just pop open that little uh, oil filter uh, opening and just get your torque wrench in there and use this little oil filter uh, uh, cap and uh, torque it down. Make sure it's torqued down properly. Uh, you know, just because if it does come off, the, the end result is pretty severe. It's just not worth it. Or you can just do it all by yourself, so you don't have to worry about it. Uh, that would be the better way to do it, in my opinion. Uh, so, yeah, that's uh, that's about it as far as what, what the car comes with. Uh, I don't think there was a whole lot else going on other than, well, you, you know, you get your key fob with the little Shelby sign on it. Uh, let's see if I can show you guys. There you go. It's got that little sign on there. I don't know. It feels a little cheap, a little plasticky. I don't know if, how long that will hold without getting all scratched up, but oh, well, it is what it is. It's a little, little nice little touch there. I'd rather have that and not have it. And let's get to what uh, you guys were waiting for. I'm gonna put this down here real quick. this uh, came in and uh, I've actually already opened it once and I taped it up so uh, but uh, I will open it up again for you uh, these are some nuts and bolts that uh, that I'm gonna have to use some of them weren't reusable so I had to buy another one fancy but and it is a uh, front springs for GT 350R and the beauty of it is it only costs $70 from eBay you can you can also buy from any of the the Ford OEM stores, OEM parts stores, and you know they're about thirty dollars a piece plus shipping. 
and uh, yeah it's, it's very cheap and just so you guys can see the for those of you who wants to order it here's a part number it's FR 3Z 5310M make sure it has that M at the end that's what you need E is the one for regular GT350 M is the one for the R and these springs I believe they have more linear compression and also a higher spring rate uh, quite a bit of a actually higher spring rate than the regular GT350 so uh, these are going to be going in I also still have my um, camber plates which are going to go in together uh, I still haven't decided exactly which camber plate I want to use there's two that I'm deciding I'll let you guys know once I get that ordered um, but yeah, so uh, that's one. Actually, there's another one that came in, which is this little little guy right here. Um, yeah, it's a rear sway bar, also uh, for GT 350R. But I made a mistake because, uh, and hopefully you guys won't make same mistakes that I did. This part actually ended up being same thing that goes into my current GT350 and not the R uh, and uh, on the web page for the Ford OEM uh, website uh, this part number uh, let's see what the number was I know it's here somewhere yeah here it is that the uh, I don't know if you guys see that, the FR3Z5A772G uh, and uh, yeah, the, the, the G on the website, it actually said it, it was for GT350 with R package so I thought this was it, this was for the, the R but uh, I read up some forums and uh, some guys were saying it's actually not the G, it's the other one. I, um, uh, I believe it was M or E, or I, I don't remember exactly. Uh, again, uh, I'll show you guys when it, when it arrives. But uh, And so I, I actually called the, the, the part store to double confirm with the manager there and they actually said yes, uh, uh, this part number is actually for regular GT350 and not the R so uh, I actually had to order another one the, the right one uh, for the R sway bar which should be uh, about 0.5 to uh, I believe 0.7 millimeters thicker than, than this guy is so uh, that should be arriving in a couple of days so uh, that's going on but not a huge loss. It's, uh, this was only about what fifty-five dollars, so it's another cheap part. You know, again, beauty of OEM parts. But yeah, so uh, actually, if 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 any of you guys want this, and you guys live nearby uh, Inland Empire, Southern California, hit me up. Uh, you know, I'll probably let you guys just take it. I'm not gonna need it. So I don't know if this fits in any other Mustangs maybe an upgrade if you have a regular GT or something I don't know you can look that up but if you need it let me know um, uh, maybe once I reach uh, uh, hundred subscribers <laughs> I'll probably pick one who pick one of you guys who, who wants it leave it down on the comment section and uh, you know we can meet up real quick and you can take the part but anyways uh, I think that's it for today uh, I'm actually gonna uh, talk to you guys about uh, maintenance on, on, on this car and uh, how I would do it how I do it how I, uh, and, and the reason why I do it the way I do it and take it to a dealership and things that I've heard things I've seen because I've, I've, I've asked I've been asked a couple of questions on the, on the YouTube uh, channel asking you know where I should take my you know Shelby to uh, which dealer should I take it to get it serviced you know who can I trust and whatnot and uh, you know that's definitely something I do want to go over because 
Um, you know, I mean, don't get me wrong, some of the, the dealership uh, mechanics are great, they're fantastic, but, uh, you know, it's like rolling the dice there. So, uh, yeah, th uh, that's probably going to be my next video, just talking about maintenance of the car and, and how that goes. So, yeah, stay tuned. Again, if you guys want to hear me from uh, anything else, any questions, uh, you know, feel free to leave the comments. Uh, but, yeah, otherwise, time to go home, time to... Uh, and put my son to uh to a sleep and and get rest take care guys